Hello everyone, ang ating pag-uusapan in this session is all about pre-polling body. At ito ngayon ang ating experiment number 4. So, paano nga ba natin i-adapt or i-perform ang experiment number 4, pre-polling body? Siyempre, ang inyong abang lingkod bago natin simulan, Danilo M. Guzman Jr., huwag lamang pong kalimutang Pag-subscribe ng ating channel, Matinikat ang Musikero. Ngayon naman ay maaaring na natin simulan ang ating explanation about experiment number 4, kung paano ba natin ito i-perform or i-adapt. Bilang panimula, ito muna ang title ng ating experiment, Pre-Falling Body, experiment number 4. Siyempre, sa umpisa ng ating Pagpa-perform ng experiment number 4, una sa lahat, kailangan isulat muna natin ang ating pangalan, course year and section, isulat ang pangalan ng inyong guro, date perform at kung ano ang inyong group number. Siyempre, ako naman ang magsusulat kung ako ang inyong teacher doon sa rating na inyong makukuha regarding about your performance, kung ano ang inyong magiging grado. Ano nga ba ang ating objective kung bakit kailangan natin i-perform ang pre-polling body? Determine the acceleration due to gravity by studying the motion of a pre-polling body. Yan ngayon ang ating objective. And then afterward, para ma-perform natin ang ating experiment number 4, entitled na pre-polling body, Ito ngayon ang ating mga kakailanganin. Una sa lahat, we have the stopwatch. In case na wala kayong stopwatch, pwede na ninyong gamitin ang inyong Android cellphone na mayroong ding stopwatch. And then metal ball. If ever na walang metal ball, any object na lang na hindi gaanong mabigat. And then next, we have the steel tape or meter stick. Pwede rin ang medida or any measuring apparatus. And then afterward, we also have the chalk or marking pen. So, paano natin ngayon ipaperform ang pre-polling body gamit ang mga apparatus na nabanggit? Siyempre, ito ngayon ang ating procedure. Number one, measure the height, 1 meter, 1.5 meter, and 2 meters using your meter stick or steel tape. Mark the sides on the wall with a chalk. And then, second step or second procedure, drop the metal ball from these heights and record the time it will take the ball to reach the floor. Perform five trials for each height. At yan ngayon ang ating table. Sa column 1, ito yung height for 1 meter na mayroong ding five trials. And then sa pinakababa, we have to calculate the average. And then second column for the height of 1.5 meters, meron din tayong limang trials. And then sa pinaka last row, kailangan eh may compute natin ang average time natin for the height of 1.5 meters. And then for the last column, height of 2 meters, meron din tayong five trials. And then sa last row, kailangan makalkula natin ang ating average time. And this is our second step or second procedure. Number three, compute the height using the formula as shown below. HEV is equals to 1 up GT square, wherein G is equals to 9.81 meter per second square, and T as our average time. So, yan ang magiging experimental value ng ating height. And then afterward, for the average time, first column and the height, experimental value for the second column, and the height for the true value, we have the 1 meter, 1.5 meters, and 2 meter respectively. So, meron tayong kakalkulit na average time or T average sub 1 
or T sub average sub 2 and T average sub 3 for the average time. Yung uh, T AB1 para sa 1 meter, T AB2 for 1.5 meters, and T AB3 for the 2 meters na height. And then for our fourth procedure, calculate the percent error for each height. Then we have the percentage errors equals to AB minus TB all over TB times 100%. Wherein P percent is equal to our percent error, AB as the experimental value, and TB as the true value para sa ating height. The next. Average time. Ano ba ang percentage error natin for TAB1? And then TAB2 and TAB3. Ano ba yung mga percent error natin? Coming up next, for our conceptual questions, you have to answer all of this. Number one, two objects are thrown vertically upward. First one and then a bit later, the other. Is it possible that both reach the same maximum height at the same instant? Account for your answer. Second question, as freely falling object speeds up, what is happening to its acceleration due to gravity? Does it increase or stay the same? Explain. Then for our third question, how would you estimate the maximum height? You could throw a ball vertically upward. How would you estimate the maximum speed you could give up? I mean, you could give it. Ulitin ko, ha? How would you estimate the maximum speed you could give it? And that is our third question. Finally, pakisulat lang ang inyong conclusion and observation. Thank you and God bless. At yan ang ating experiment number four na pinamagatang experiment number four, pre-polling body. Maraming salamat po.